Hello, this is a quick introduction to our Moodle course for ET680. When you enter into our Moodle course, you'll see at the top of every page it's going to have this section that says Start Here. And that's a good place to start because that lists the course objectives, so that's what we're trying to accomplish in this course. It has a link to our syllabus and major assignments, and then it has a forum for the muddiest point. This is your opportunity to ask any questions that aren't clear. I'd like to think that everything that I put on Moodle is perfectly clear, but I know that's not true. I know that there are things that are confusing. There's a lot of moving parts in this course, and so it's very easy to lose track of where you are and what's going on and or what you're supposed to do. And whenever that happens, post something in the Muddiest Point forum. And if you know the answer to somebody else's question, feel free to respond. I will do my best to respond within 24 hours because I really do want to clear up any confusion that you have. So that's at the top section and it shows up on every page. Um, then we have these sections uh, within Moodle and so you can see right now I only have two of them set up and the first one is syllabus and major assignments and that's at the top because that's where the most important stuff is for you and so if we click on that we can also click on it by the way at the link here at the top of any page but we can go to that section click on it and you can see it still has the start here stuff at the top and then there is a link to the syllabus which is a Google Doc and so you can go to the syllabus and then there is information about each of the major assignments the first thing that you'll see is the place for you to submit your assignment so if you clicked on that for the planning paper for example then that's where you would submit your planning paper there's also directions and a rubric for those things. Then there uh, is the same thing for the funding paper and the issue paper and then the class participation tracker. There's a place to submit it. I haven't finished creating the class participation tracker as of this video so it's not there but that document will be there soon and so those are the key things that you need, most important things you need for this course. So we can then use the uh, little icon here to navigate to the next item in the course or we can scroll up to the top. I often like to just click on the course itself. It takes me back to the course and then I can scroll down and find all the different sections that are there and again there will be multiple sections here that aren't going to be named section 3, 4, 5, and 6 and so on but haven't put those together yet. So when we go to the first section for the March 14th face-to-face -face class which may be snowed out so you may be listening to this intro online you can see the way that this is set up again all that stuff is there always at the top um, we will have and this will be the basic setup for every section within Moodle we're gonna have a quote for the week we're going to have objectives for that class or that week we're going to have a list of learning activities. When it's online, there will generally be fewer of them than what's listed here, but there's a lot of work in this class, so you should expect a lot of learning activities. Um, for the first night, we have a technology playground, and so you won't uh, have that most nights. And then, finally, in most of the classes, there will be a look ahead to give you a little preview of what's going to happen and maybe some reminders of what you want to be sure you've accomplished so far. And so that's the basic format of Moodle. So in the learning activities, you'll see that first night we do a lot of different technologies and that's mainly to get you uh, to be sure you can use all of the different technologies we're using in this class. And so we have uh, in the technology playground some forums. The forums are divided by groups, so you will be assigned to one of these groups, 
and you'll have access to it. I don't have access to either because I forgot to assign myself to the groups, but I'll do that later. But you'll be able to click on the forum that you're assigned to, and most of our forums will be in groups. The first night I just randomly assigned them, but I'll do it a little bit differently for the rest of the groups. Then we have a wiki assignment here, and I've got a little video overview of how we're using wikis that you can listen to. Um, and your wiki assignment is done in groups, and so you'll find your group and go to that wiki and follow the instructions. After you've watched the video, once you watch the video that's only a few minutes long, you'll know what you're supposed to do there. And then there's a forum for reports from the group. And um, then there's a voice thread, and I've got, again, a little video introducing you to voice thread, how we're going to use that. So we've got a little voice thread, and you will click on that to introduce yourself based around the questions that I've asked here. And then finally, uh, we have a Google Doc, and you're supposed to add something to that Google Doc. And again, the key here is that you're practicing with the technology. So we're really looking to make sure you can access that. It's restricted access, so if you haven't uh, been given permission yet, then we need to make sure that that's straightened out. And uh, that's done through the email address you put in your survey. So these are the kinds of activities that we'll be doing throughout the semester, so you'll, you won't see all of them in any given week, but you'll see several different ones in any given week. And so you'll watch for these, and uh, you just click, you follow along, and you click, and you do the activities, and that's how our Moodle group is set up.